23 countries, over 400 cities, one Hawaiian shirt. So how does your first show compare to where you are now? First show, I was at a hole in the wall in Long Beach, California, which is where I still live now. It was a uh, nightclub with probably 30 people in it. Uh, so there was cigarette smoking going on, and people were drunk and yelling, and uh, now I'm in front of 18,000. Uh, so quite I, a difference. A little bit, a little bit, a few more people in the parking lot. Your um, style has a lot of voices, a lot of sound effects. I don't know how you do that car one. <laughs> How did that come into your, you know, come into your shows? It was one of those things where, you know what, I'm very good at just with the voices and characters and stuff like that. And eventually I learned to incorporate real stories and real life situations. And instead of just telling a story, I would perform a story. <laughs> instead of saying, oh, I ran to this girl, she was so silly, I would say like, oh, this girl was like, oh my God, you are so crazy. And immediately I got your attention where people were like, whoa, look at this dude, he's like a giant MP3 player. My son is like, you're fat. Your fat's going everywhere. Well, guess what? This fat makes your mom horny. You travel everywhere from India, and so what is your favorite place that you've traveled? Uh, I mean, I've been around the world. I mean, random countries. I mean, almost 30 of them. And uh, I still love being home. Uh, you know, it's my favorite. You know, a lot of people say, America, number one is America. Yeah, it's easy to say that when you haven't seen or done anything else, but I mean, uh, I, I love uh, America because it's, it's home. I started doing yoga, and I know that sounds like a joke right there. He means yogurt. No, yoga. And your audience is right there. You yeah. get feedback right away. Instant feedback. Yeah, so how are your fans, you know? The My fans are the best. I have the greatest fans in the world. They interact, and they're, they're loyal. Do you have to feel like you have to change your show based on where you are? That's a great question. No disrespect. I, I was a slip. And he was cool. I understand. Middle East hostage. <laughs> uh, I, I used to think that way in the beginning. Oh, man, they're probably not going to get it. They're not going to get this. And that's since day one. Like, for example, I'm from L.A., and then when I started performing in other states, I'm like, do I got to modify the material? Is there certain things I can't talk about? So, you know, are they going to get it? Uh, I wonder if they have Jack in the Box in Wyoming. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And then it's to the point where I, I get to Florida, and I'm still feeling like that. And once I realize, you know what? Everybody has the Internet. Everybody sees the news. We all understand America, and the rest of the world follows us very, very well. And the crowd starts going, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. And when I heard that, I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be an amazing show. So I ran to the stage as fast as I could. I'm not a runner. So if you can sum up this um, show in two words, what would it be? Amazing.